Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhat Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss the first parsing algorithm. This is called backtracking algorithm. Backtracking algorithm. Backtracking or we can say it is, it is also called as brute force parsing algorithm. It is also called as brute force parsing algorithm. Backtracking or brute force parsing algorithm is a type of top down parsing algorithm mainly it is a type of top down top down top down parsing algorithm okay so backtracking or brute force parsing algorithm is a type of top down parsing algorithm so now we'll discuss what is the meaning of backtracking or brute force parsing algorithm so see the definition of Backtracking. In backtracking parsing algorithm, if any non terminal, if any non terminal having, if any non terminal having multiple productions, if any non terminal having multiple productions in the RHS part, if any non terminal having multiple productions in the RHS part, then it is very difficult then it is very difficult to select the exact production to select the exact product what is the meaning of this try to understand with the help of one example See here. this is a this is one of the uh, this is one of the context free grammar a such a such only one production a such only one production at the rhs part here a has two productions a b c and d since a has two productions so it is very difficult to select either we will select the first one production or we will select the second one production so if this is called as means if any non terminal if any non terminal contains more than one production in the rhs part so it is very difficult to select so it is very difficult to select the uh, exact production or the right production. See the example. Suppose one string is given like this, A, B, D. How to get this string, A, B, D? See here. So now we will start from the, now since it is a top down parsing, so we will start from the starting symbol. So we will start from the starting symbol. The starting symbol is two here small a capital a capital b then e okay so now top down top down parsing means it is a leftmost derivation parsing now we will derive the next one is a now we will derive a so say a has two productions a has two productions now let i am using the first production let i am using the first production suppose a to a b c c a b c then we will select the next one b b to d b to d here we will select the first production here in this case we will select the first production of a means a to a b c we select the just the first production but we don't get the required don't get the required string when we'll select the first when we'll select the first one means first production of a we don't get the required string we don't get the required string like a b d e so if the first production is not satisfied then we'll select the second production We'll select the second production. Now I am selecting the second one. So A is to first one. A is to A, A, B, E. Now here we'll select A to B, right? So A to here B, then B to B to D. Yes, we get the required string using this second one using this second one means here a 
P D E means here we get the means required string, but here we don't get the required uh, string. Means here A just like will uh, derive the this capital A capital A or the non terminal A will again. So let I'm I'm not deriving here. A A B C D E. Here we don't get the required string, but here using the second production we get the required string. So this is called as the backtracking or brute force method. Backtracking means if any non-terminal contains multiple productions in the RHS part, so first we'll try the first one. If first one is not sat first production, if first production is not satisfied. Then we will try the second one, means second production. If second production is not satisfied, then we will select the third one and, and so on. So generally, it will take much more time to uh, design the parser. So that's why it is non-deterministic in nature. That's why, that's why backtracking or brute force parsing is non-deterministic in nature and it requires exponential time and it requires exponential time hence backtracking parsers hence backtracking parsers are not suitable are not suitable to design the practical compilers hence backtracking parsers are not suitable to design the practical compilers okay so that's why we don't use uh, in the real time scenario, backtracking process, we don't use the backtracking process to design the practical compiler. So, this is the actually backtracking pass algorithm. Okay. Now we'll see the disadvantages of backtracking method. To avoid this drawback, to avoid this drawback, generally we'll use predictive parsers. We'll use predictive parsers. Okay. So in predictive parsing, in predictive parsing, no backtracking happens. No backtracking means we will not use the backtracking concepts in predictive parsing. Okay, because predictive parser generally uses loop ahead symbol. Predictive parser generally uses the look ahead symbol. So what is the meaning of look ahead symbol? What is the meaning of predictive parser? So in the next class, we'll discuss about the predictive parsers or and also the concept of look ahead symbol okay so thanks for watching